Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I've got for you another video in the Skoda T56. Um, and today I'm going to be letting you guys know how I think to best set this tank up and how I think is best to make this tank as good as it can possibly be. Now, first things first, what you need to know about this tank is it is completely ridiculously overpowered. Possibly the most overpowered tier 8 premium tank that has been added to the game in a very, very long time. And if you are thinking of buying a tier 8 premium tank, now is the time to buy this thing because I wouldn't, or I wouldn't be surprised if this thing doesn't get put on sale again because it's too good. Just my opinion, obviously it's wargaming, who knows what they're going to do. So just a quick um, summary of what this video, uh, of what this tank is all about. If you want a full review on this tank, there is a, um, there's going to be a link to my tank review in the video description, so make sure you go check that out as well. But this thing has a two-shell autoloader. It's a tier 8 premium. It does 460 damage per shot, three and a half seconds between shells, and it has a decent reload. Gun handling is pretty much absolutely trash, and the mobility is not great. So with that, how do I set this tank up? Like I just said, limiting factors of this tank. Everything else about this tank is pretty much amazing. Turret armor is yeah, it's pretty good. Um, mobility is not great. The gun is insane other than the inch clip and the gun handling. Um, and the mobility is not particularly great. But it's that fact that you can do 460 damage times 2 to anything. You just saw there, object 277, tier 10 Russian heavy tank. You look at this matchup. I'm in a tier 8 premium tank. There are four tier 10s on each team. Um, five tier 9s and five tier... No. I can't match that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. Five tier 9s and six tier 8s. This is pretty much the worst matchmaking you can get at tier 8. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, this is a good map. I feel like I can do a lot in this game. And you're gonna see why. So, the way I set this tank up. First things first, vert stabs. This thing's gun dispersions are horrible. The accuracy overall and the aim time are trash. So if you can start with that aim circle as small as possible, that is great. Me going one better than that because I'm a scrub and I play ranked, I play clan wars, everything like that. I've got huge amounts of bonds at the minute. And the amount that I'm playing this thing, I've invested in some um, bond um, vert stabs to make it even better. As well as that, I've gone for um, Bounty Rotation, because you can't get Bond Rotation, so I've gone Bounty Rotation. Just look at this. I go, you know what? If I trade two for one with the Conqueror, I'll be happy. I trade one one for none, and then he fires the Ice 2-2, and I go, you know what? I'll take the three second shot. I do 870 damage to a Tier 9 Heavy Tank, and he does nothing in return. And I just absolutely butcher him. And the thing is, this game in the background, this is not a unique game. I have done four and a half, five k damage games in tier eight games, uh, tier ten games. Sorry, very comfortably. This is not a tank that just bullies tier sixes. You can bully tier nines. You can bully tier tens in this thing. It's absolutely mental. But yeah, the combination of the um, uh, bond vert stabs or regular vert stabs and Im improved rotation mechanism just mean the gun handling of this tank then becomes beautiful and you, especially when you use bond and bounty um combinations of those equipment look i'm moving at full speed rotating my turret that's what you saw me doing at the start of the game when i was zigzagging and rotating my turret seeing how bad i can make the dispersion on my tank and it was really not that bad at all and the aim circle when you're driving in a straight line and not moving your turret the aim circle gets so small because of those two things also i've got a turbo and not just a turbo i've got a turbo in in an improved slot because using the new field modifications when you get to max level you can allocate a new like improved slot to one of the turbos like the booster slots i don't know um what it's actually called but i picked a mobility slot obviously i think most people would probably go oh, i'm gonna pick firepower slot i picked the mobility slot um to try to um boost this thing put a turbo in the mobility slot and now I can, I think I go about 40 kilometers an hour. Horsepower per ton is around about 15, which neither is amazing. But it's now the combination, the fact that it's not trash anymore. And there again, taking a shot from the KPZ and just going, you know what? I don't really care. I'm just going to make sure I get a shot. And I pretty much out trade him for twice as much damage as he put into me. It's just absolutely mental. Now we are losing this game. We're on less than half the hit points of the enemy team. We are down 
by two tanks as well. So this game ain't looking good. But we're still going to see what we can do. So yeah, the combination of that. I've also gone for um, uh, the vertical stabilizer directive. I can't think what it's called. It's like guns greased or grease gears or something like that. I'm kind of annoyed there that I took a shell from the 62A and from the IS-3A as I swung my bum around to try and kill the 62A. I knew I had to try and kill the 62A because of... Um, because of, uh, like, if not, he's just going to kill me with his DPM. I'm just annoyed that I took a shot from the IS-3A as well, because that um, now means that I'm I'm one shot. I then decided to reload. I've been firing standard this whole game as well, I should point out. I haven't fired a single premium round. I'm only now switching to premium, because I haven't got enough to fully reload a clip of um, standard. And, yeah, we're really in this shit here. We're outnumbered, like, with 6k HP down. Uh, 5k HP down, sorry. So we're not really going to win this game. But with this equipment set up, you pretty much... Mobility is then no longer really too much of an issue. Um, and your gun handling is completely insane. Which kind of alleviates that issue. So now the only real issue you have from this tank being pretty much a god tier tank is the three and a half second intra clip. If this thing had a two second intra clip, it would be the most bro- I mean, already, especially with this setup, it is the most broken thing ever. But, it would just be so much more insane. And I poke here to try and uh, double get, uh, get two shots into the A phase one, hoping that he's gonna drive past and he doesn't really know that I can shoot him down here. But he actually does know that I can shoot him, which means we die, which is unfortunate. However, we still did nearly 5k damage in a tier 10 game, in a tier 8 premium tank. And like I said, this is not a unique occurrence. This is a relatively run-of-the-mill game for me in the Skoda. Like, it was a good game, don't get me wrong. Like, but 3k, 3.5k in a tier 10 game is not is really not beyond the realms of possibility in a tier 8 premium tank. Bearing in mind that in my Barask, a tank that I would say is really, really good, like, overall, I averaged 2.4k. In this thing, I averaged 32 I might have changed a bit actually since the last look, but it, it was 3.2 after. And that's not after like 1, 2 or 10 games. That's after, I think, 30 or nearly 40 games now. So it's becoming less of a small numbers thing. This thing's just insane. Honestly, absolutely insane. So let's go take a very quick look at the post-game stats. Once we've done that, I will jump into the garage quickly and just so you can see a visual of um, how I do set this tank up. Um... If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please make sure you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, because I know that the majority of you who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. Um, and make sure you've got notifications turned on when so you know when I upload. Other than that, let's go jump into um, the post-game stats. So, there we go, guys. Unfortunately, like I said before, that game was a defeat. We still got a high calibre, though. I, I say that as if, oh, we still got a high calibre, though. But you've got to think. That's a tier 10 game. I'm in a tier 8 premium and I got a high caliber on a loss. This, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen often. 4,976 damage, 3 kills and 820 assisted. On the Conqueror, I think we um, took his tracks off. It's just, just top on damage in the game. Casual, you know. Not, not, not even just either. By quite a lot. From 430U, who I would say had a decent game. E50M had a decent game. VZ. I mean, the VZ in itself, that's a whole new kettle of fish. That's that's overpowered in itself. But still, 4,100. Eh. And we still did 800 more damage than him. It's just absolutely mental. Still, obviously, being a tier 8 premium as well, made a huge amount of credits profit. I'm pretty sure there's something for um, an achievement in there, because that plus... That, that doesn't add up, but still. Um, fired 15, hit 13... Pen 13, which is very nice. Like I say, just having that that ability to not quite snapshot, but you can snapshot in this thing. Like I would be with this setup, I think you've got something like 50% better dispersions whilst moving and rotating the turret. Which means that you can fire on the move. If you know you're not going to be shooting at anything else, and that's the only thing that you, you could do, you've got a really decent chance of being able to hit with this setup. It's absolutely mental. But yeah, anyway, let's just go very quickly, jump into the garage. I will show you um, my setup very quickly. And then, yeah. 
Just quickly then guys, so this is my setup as you can see here. I haven't actually got the best crew either. I don't think in that game that you saw me play I had smooth ride. So, like, yeah, it can still get better. We've gone for the Bond um, Stabilizer. This, like, a standard uh, vertical stabilizer is absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. And same with the Bounty Rotation Mechanism. A standard rotation mechanism, again, is just fine. But if, if you've got enough to put a bounty on on this, I think it's 100% worth it. This tank is the kind of tank that you're going to want to play a load. And I've been playing lots and just making so many credits from it. You can play in front lines. It will probably be used in tier 8 clan wars, I would think. It will be used in tier 8 skirmishes. It's just, it's mental. So I definitely think it's well worth the investment. And like I said, you want a turbo as well. And I've gone for a mobility slot. You can get that from um, finishing the uh, field mods. And getting all the way to the end and you can assign. You can either assign a mobility or firepower. Like I said, I think a lot of people go for firepower. Just because, you know, that that's what this tank is really good for is the gun. But I feel like getting the gun into those positions is what makes it um, very, very nice. I've also gone for a um, stabilizer greasing. Um, which is the directive for um, a vertical stabilizer. The reason for that is I think I've got about 600 or something, yeah, 500, and in clan walls and stuff, I would only really use the um, the rammer and, or vents, or like, turbo, so I'm not really going to use them for anything else, so I absolutely may as well use them on this 500 games worth. You get a, you get these, given these for random things these days as well, so I'd probably think, I don't use them on anything else, I'd probably think it, they'll last me quite a long time. Yeah, that is all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, or found it useful in any way. If you did, please make sure you give the video a like. As I said before, the majority of you watching this probably aren't subscribed, so please make sure you subscribe um, for more. Make sure you've got notifications turned on as well so you know um, when I'm uploading. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.